This year's NRL Heritage Round pitted Cronulla against Manly, the club that cruelly denied them premierships in two nail-biting grand finals during the 1970s. The famous showdowns of 73 and 78 might seem like eons ago, but in the Shire, these sort of things aren't easily forgotten, and the Sharkies always tried to lift for this so-called Battle of the Beaches. They breathed an early sigh of relief when Steve Matai, in his first game back from a suspension incurred late last season, failed to capitalise on the dregs from a bomb. There it is there, just there. Yeah, so not gone in the field of play. Matai missed out, but the resilient Luke Douglas didn't miss anyone in a clash that left him a little worse for wear. There's a head oh. clash there with Jason King. A few minutes later, though, it was Manly boss Des Hasler with the headache after seeing his side fail to put Paul Gallon on the deck. With him. Still alive, it is on. What a try for Cronulla. Matthew Wright is the scorer and the Sharkies lead. Nathan Gardner, as always, was a constant threat to the defence and attempted one of his trademark thrilling kick returns. Here's Gardner! Yet apart from the fullback's fleet footedness, line breaks were rare in the first 40 for both units. And that led a conservative Cronulla to take two, going ahead by a converted try. He's got to get a bit on this, he has, but has he got it straight? You bet! Then with seconds left, they edged a little further ahead. And also Douglas, a field goal is good! It wasn't spectacular, but the Sharky Army was sure enjoying it as their heroes forged a 7-0 half-time advantage. Cade Snowden has been the centre of attention in recent times as both a possible Newcastle recruit and New South Wales origin candidate. It's not hard to see why he's in such high demand because the young giant can not only clean up at fullback, but bust through as a top front rower should. Big Cade Snowden, who's going to stop him? He decided against the one-on-one -on -one with the Manly fullback, got the ball to support and the Sharks stretch their lead. Down by 13-0 as the game lurched past the hour mark, Manly desperately needed a spark. Or failing that, a decent slab of luck. And it came when it looked like they were going nowhere. The Eagles are looking for their first points. Foreign finds them. Five minutes later, George Rose utilised every bit of his substantial frame to put the Sea Eagles back in the frame. Rose scores Big Georgie! Manly had clawed their way to within a point on a string of second half penalties, then they squared things up with just over a minute to go off the left boot of Daly Cherry Evans. Left foots it over! Well locked up at 13! The Manly half showed himself to be ambidextrous, for the Sharks, it was disastrous. But the worst was still to come for the locals, just when Golden Point seemed a done deal. Manly have stolen a victory in an absolute thriller! Put that down as another of Rugby League's great escapes. A little like those aforementioned grand finals between the clubs. Manly somehow won by 1913, although even Glenn Stewart couldn't explain how they did it. I don't even think our boys have got a head around it yet, let alone the Sharks. I feel, I feel for them. For the most part of the game, they were probably the better team and um, we just had a quick flurry at the end there. It seemed the, the, the bounce of the ball went our way. David Rollins, Big Pond Sport.